Okay, let's wrap up our fluid surface example. In this video, we're going to set up some properties to give our fluid a bit more of a realistic overall behavior, and we're going to set up an effect to make it look like that water is dripping into the surface and that it's creating little ripples as it drops. Now, in between videos, I did rebuild my lighting, and after doing that, our reflections are now coming in, as you can see. So we can actually play the level and we can see reflections. Now currently our fluid just goes crazy when anything hits it. So let's start off by adjusting some properties to calm that back down. So I'll double click my fluid, let's expl expand the fluid component, and we're gonna start off with fluid damping which I'm gonna set all the way up to 10. That's going to really take out a lot of the energy that's being pumped into that fluid. Now fluid height scale, we're gonna pull that way down to 0.05 and that's going to take those waves and really make them a whole lot smaller. We'll take the travel speed and cut that in half to 0.5. Now moving down from here, we're going to play with our uh, detail a little bit. So let's take our detail uh, size and pull that in half down to 250, just to give us a little bit more detail. you got to be careful with the setting, though, uh, because if you set it too small, it can look like your ripples just kind of go away. Now, just sort of a cool area to point out, you have fluid debug as well. This allows you to visualize a lot of different things about how your fluid is behaving. One of the ones that's really cool to see is uh, show detail normals. Let's go ahead and switch that on. And then if we jump into the level, take a look in the upper left corner, we actually get a picture that shows how the ripple normal is being calculated. So it's pretty fun to play with. Now I'm going to go ahead and jump back in and turn that back off. So there's just a few settings so that now when we test out the level, we no longer have those really, really crazy ripples. We just have some nice ripples that spread out across the surface. Now let's set up a system that will give us some nice drops. And we're going to set this up so the drops appear to be coming from this coiled up hose. I'm going to jump into the content browser. And I have the P water drips long package, or I'm sorry, particle system here inside my package. Now what this is, this is a copy of the P water drips long uh, that already exists with UDK. And all that I've done is taken the initial location and I set the start location to a constant distribution instead of a uniform. So we can give it just a, a set location of zero so it's not quite so spread out. And then I went underneath spawn and took the spawn scale and pulled that down to 0.1, which gave us a lot less drops than we had before. Now I'm just going to take this and drag it into my map. And we'll go ahead and switch over to real time so we can see this starting to drip. Now I want to position this just underneath the edge of the hose or right underneath the, the open end of it, which we can see here in wireframe. So I'm going to make sure that my drag grid is off for just a moment, just so I can get some really tight control. And we'll put this right underneath the end of the hose. A little bit of editing to get it just right. That looks pretty good. Maybe right about here. Now you'll notice the particles also go up above the hose, but the texture that's on those particles doesn't go up much further. So I think we can leave it just like that. Now we need to set up the actor that will cause the ripples in the surface of our water. So let me turn my drag grid back on just to be on the safe side. And we're going to jump over to the Actor Classes browser, and you'll see the Fluid Influence Actor listed just above uh, Fluid Surface Actor. Let's go ahead and right-click right here on the surface of our fluid, and we'll add Fluid Influence Actor. Now that immediately starts to ripple the surface of your water. Now we're going to change some settings here, so let's press F4. Expand Fluid Influence Actor, expand the Influence Component. Now, by default, this is set to Fluid Wave. Let's switch this to Fluid Raindrops. Then we're going to take the Fluid Raindrops and set some properties inside of it. So let's start off with the Raindrop Area Radius. We're going to pull this down to 8. Raindrop Fill Entire Fluid. We're going to turn that off. Raindrop Radius. We're going to pull down to 2. Raindrop Rate to 0.875 to really slow down the rate of those drops. And then finally, the raindrop strength, we're actually going to double up to 10. Now, if you carefully position this, you can put it right underneath 
where those drops are coming down from the hose. And while they're not going to be timed exactly, if we jump into the level at this point, we can see that it really does look like the water is dripping into the puddle and creating a rippling surface. So that's a look at how we can set up a quick fluid surface info to get a nice puddle effect. Very cool way to add some extra detail into your levels. That is going to wrap things up for this video. Be sure to save your level and your package, and I'll catch you on the next video. Yeah. <laughs>